السلام علیکم ٹو مارکس ویری امپورٹنٹ کویشن اینڈ آنسرس ان انالیسس دیٹ از اے فارماسٹیکل انالیسس ان یور بی فارماسی فرسٹ ایئر لیٹ اسٹارٹ دوز ٹو مارکس کویشن وتھ آنسرس ویری امپورٹنٹ کویشن دیز آر فرسٹ کویشن از گو دا پی ایچ رینج آف فینوپٹلین اینڈ میتھائل اورینج انڈیکیٹرس یو ٹو رائٹ دا فینوپٹلین اینڈ میتھائل اورینج مینس دا پی ایچ conditions or the pH range that is of 8.2 to 10 in phenolphthalein methyl red is 3.2 to 4.5 then next is give the role of a starch as an indicator in redox titration see a starch is the indicator of choice for the redox titration means involving iodine because it forms an intense blue complex with iodine why we are using starch in a redox titration means because it forms the blue color okay it uh, give blue complex with iodine uh, formation of blue color only indicates the our complex uh, indicates that the our redox titration is completed next third one name the solvent used in non aqueous titration a protic protic protogenic protophilic ampitory ampiprotic solvent okay then define the terms a tight trend and a tight trend tight trend then tight trend tight trend is the compound in the titration means burette mostly its concentration is exactly known means what we are taking in the burette no that is known as a tight rent t t tight rent then rent tight rent means substance which is being analyzed in the titration what we are using no uh, means uh, with the help of the conical flask what we are analyzing the substance that is known as a tight rent next one is explain the masking and demasking agents in complexometry masking is a substance which prevents the normal course of chemical change without removal of any component from the system that is known as masking just we are what we are doing we are masking the substance we are masking to prevent the any type of the reaction then demasking means just opposite to that masking a process by which a masked substance is made capable of undergoing its casual reaction means we are removing the masked substance means what we have masked you know that we will remove and we will leave that reaction casual reactions then what is a reference electrode name any two an electrode have an accurately maintained potential used as a reference for measurement by other electrolytes electrodes like hydrogen electrode chromium electrode silver silver chloride electrode these all are the electrodes next difference between end point and stoichiometry see end point of a titration is the point at which the reaction seems to be completed and stoichiometric point means a here the exact point at which the reaction becomes complete exact point comes after the stoichiometric effect end points it comes after comes before the end point stoichiometric effect means it comes before just you remember these all points then eighth one define the role of a nitrobenzene in the modified volars method see this questions also ask in five marks we have to mention this one with a principle of a modified volars method nitrobenzene or dibutyl phenolphthalate is added to coagulate the silver chloride precipitate so that it will not interfere with the titration of the excess of the silver nitrate by forming a layer layer over the silver chloride and this avoids the need for filtration means what it will do by adding that nitrobenzene it will coagulate the silver chloride means silver chloride precipitate will be formed so that why it doesn't react with the excess silver nitrate that's the main role here of this nitrobenzene then define the terms of accuracy and precision accuracy means their close measurement is to be known or accepted value while precision is the exact value reproducible measurement even if they are far from the acceptable value okay means just we are for an example of 5 10 15 20 these are the reproducible values then define molar conductance and specific conductance specific conductance is the ability of the substance to conduct electricity that is known as specific then molar conductance means the conduct uh, conducting power of the dissolved ions uh, produced in the solution 11th one define mixed indicators and universal a universal indicator is collectively a mixture of the indicators which show a color changes in the solution which interprets how acidic or basic solution is means to define that mixed indicator means color changes indication for acid based titration we are using this end point in which a mixture of two indicators are used like methyl red methyl red methyl blue crystal violet this type why basic use of the indicator is to define the end point then what are the limitations of the mohr's method 
मोर्स मेथड इज सुटेबल ओनली फॉर द टाइट्रेशन ऑफ द क्लोराइड प्रोमाइड एंड साइनाइड एरर्स कैन बी इंट्रोड्यूस ड्यू टू द नीड्स ऑफ एक्सेस टाइट्रेंट बिफोर द एंड पॉइंट कलर इज विजिबल इलेस्ट्रेट द नर्स नॉन्स इक्वेशन एंड एलोबोरेट द टर्म्स नॉन्स इक्वेशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नॉन्स इक्वेशन ओके दैट इज डेल्टा जी इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा जी नॉट प्लस आर टी आई एन क्यू टू राइट दिज ऑल इलिस्ट्रेशन लाइक डेल्टा जी स्टैंडर्ड सेल देन डिफाइन एंड क्लासीफा लिगेंड विद एन एग्जाम्पल लिगेंड्स आर अटम्स और मॉलिक्यूल्स दैट बाइंड टू अ सेंट्रल मेटल अटम इन अ कॉर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड लिगेंड्स आर क्लासीफाइड बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर ऑफ लोन पेयर अवेलेबल फॉर द सेंट्रल अटम साइज एंड चार्ज मीन्स दीज आर द टाइप ऑफ द लिगेंड क्लासीफिकेशन लाइक लोन पेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सेंट्रल अटम साइज एंड चार्ज then elaborate on oxidizing properties of the potassium permanganate means characteristics of this potassium permanganate as the oxidation states of atoms increases the element becomes more electronegativity means if the oxidation state increase means the elements become more electronegative so therefore permanganate is a good oxidizing agent yes my dear brothers and sisters these are the 15 important questions in our two marks just practice these 15 questions take a screenshot of these 15 and practice this Okay and if you want this type of questions means subscribe my channel Legend Pharmacy thank you assalamu alaikum